Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, the first in a series that focuses on IronSpeed Designer and Telerik RAD Control integration, we're going to explore how to integrate the RAD slider with an IronSpeed application. Those of you who may be familiar with IronSpeed Designer and the way it works may not be familiar with Telerik RAD controls for ASP.NET. These are a set of ASP.NET controls and we're going to show you how to integrate the slider control with your iron speed application. For this example I'm starting with a very simple iron speed application based on the example Southwind database that comes with iron speed designer. In the application I have an orders table that's showing all the orders and what I've done is I've added a freight filter that allows one to filter by freight amount. So for instance if I said I want to only see things that cost between 20 and 21 dollars to ship and I click go I get the result set. What if I wanted to implement a range slider that did the same thing and integrate that into our iron speed app? The first step after you've built the application is to load it into Visual Studio by hitting the Visual Studio button in IronSpeed Designer. Now once the project and page is loaded into Visual Studio, what you want to do is you want to find some part of the ASPX file and you want to drag in your RAD slider. Now it's important to note that everything that you do to an ASPX file will be overwritten the next time a build is performed in iron speed. But the reason we're going to drag that slider in for now is that it accomplishes a couple of things. One, it pulls in the assembly registration for the Telerik tools. It also makes modifications to the web config, putting references to that as well. But what we really wanted was to grab this and put it into our Iron Speed app. And we'll go back to the application in Iron Speed Designer, right click anywhere on my page, and click on Page Directives. This allows me to place our register for the Telerik controls at the top of the page. And you click OK. Now that our Telerik RAD controls have been registered, I'm going to put some code into Iron Speed. Now, this is code that you could find on the Telerik website. I've prepared it, but this is code that is required for the slider, and it consists of some tooltip over here that can show the changes to the numbers as you move the sliders, and that consists of some JavaScript. And then that goes all the way to the bottom here where we have the actual slider itself. You can note that on value changed invokes freight slider value change, and we'll go to that shortly. But what I'm going to start by doing is merging these three cells underneath the first freight filter. I'm going to merge them, and then I'm going to go to the cell editor, and I'm going to paste my code. It's all there. Before going any further, we're going to build the application, and then we're going to launch it in Visual Studio, which will notice that the application has changed. Uh, what we need to do is put the server side event that will occur when the slider's value has changed. So we're going to paste in this event, freight slider value changed, and we're going to say fr, and this is one of the reasons you want to use Visual Studio, you get this wonderful IntelliSense. So you say freight from filter dot text equals freight slider dot selection start dot two string. And you want to also change the other one. So you say fr freight to filter dot text equals freight slider dot selection end dot to string. And there we have it. We save our application here and we go back to Iron Speed. Now Iron Speed notices that the application has changed and I accept those changes. So let's try running. 
Okay, here's our app. Let's move this slider. And you can see that's the end slider. I release it at 29. And you can see it's setting the freight from 0 to 29. And of course, I, if I clicked go, the filter would be processed. I can constrain it further by saying only from 23 to 29 or from 25 to 29. And you can see that the filter is being operated. The last thing we have to do is take our Telerik slider and make it basically supplant the text filters that currently exist. And to do that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it out of this cell. And I'm going to put it in the cell above there where the text boxes currently exist. And you can see I've pasted it in. But the other thing I have to do is make this text box, which is the from filter text box, invisible. So I go to the visible property, set it to false. I do the same thing for the to filter. I set that to false. And finally, I get rid of this freight range filter text, which actually is the word to. By eliminating that, we have eliminated all vestiges of the text-based filter and replaced it with our rad slider. And there you have it. We can say, I want to see only freight that is between 21 and $24. And you can click Go. And our filter is now controlled by our RAD control. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information on ASP.NET control integration with IronSpeed in general, you can visit ironspeed.com and avail yourself of their forum, knowledge base, and video library. You could also find a great number of code examples on Telerik's website at telerik.com. And you can always find related instructional videos at logicaldevelopers.com. Thanks for watching.